hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been we are going to work on the satellite imagery we downloaded the other time the link to that video will be on the description section where i've shown you how you can import your the ship files of your area of interest to usgs explorer and um, download them satellite imagery of that area right good now when we did let's try to import um, those data we actually um, downloaded right so you go to layer add layer add raster layer right good so we are actually working on a folder called um, the download imagery data so let's just select everything we saved it to Jotif, that's why you can only see the TIFF file right on the folder, else there are other files on the folder. So you just um, open, you add and then you close. Good, so now um, this particular imagery or let's say yeah, these um, bands of images we have, we have them um, from bands 1 to 7 as we downloaded the other day or as we downloaded and shown you other day right good so we have one to seven now the way this imagery is you can't actually detect features or you can't know um, that's a land use or land cover or you can't know what's actually within the area because it's actually on what on grayscale right good so we are now going to combine these bands to get a composite and then we are now going to use um, different um, RGB color composites to now see how we can identify some features on the imagery, right? Good. So thanks for coming to class. If you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage us by subscribing. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for always um, checking up on us. So we are actually using the SCP plugin. And for you to have the SCP plugin, you go to plugin, you go to uh, manage and install plugins, right? Good, so in the plugins window, you search for SCP, that's a um, semi automatic classification plugin. Oh, there's a new version available. Perhaps I'll upgrade soon. So now, if you don't have it installed, you can actually install. I have it installed and then it needs to be upgraded. I'll definitely upgrade it soon. So, um, you try to what, install it then you shake it so that it will, what, it will be activated so we've actually installed it and it's actually shake that's why you can see it what on the panel there right good on the two barada so you just then um, click on the scp then you click on what show plugin right good now when you have this um, show plugin or let's say yeah, show plugin window up you go to band set then under band set you try to what, refresh now this um, we have single band this or we have single bands we have like um, seven single bands right good so we are trying to load those bands so you can see from one to seven right good now when we've loaded or let's see when those bands have been loaded just then um, select use them um, control shift then you drag down right good you now try to what, add it to the band set you know these are the band list you now add it to what to the band set right good then the the product we are using is actually what um landsat 8 so you just select the product you are using if you know it definitely you should do when you select the product you're using now there is a particular option here let's uncheck it yeah this option here called them um, create a um, raster of band sets like to stack the bands or let's say to combine the bands right good so you just them um, check that and have one loaded the single bands and i will added them to a band set and also selecting the the product the product that was downloaded you can just um, click on run so now what this run does is that it will now be go to a particular folder you would have um, chosen or you would prefer and then it will create what a raster of what band set as it is stack band right good so let's click on run good so we are working on a folder called um band combo right that's like the combination of bands so we select it and the process has what has started good so you can actually what see the progress of what the sticking of what the bands right good 
good so we have what we have our layer stacked as you can see we have um okay, let's try to uncheck some of these other single bands so we can have a composite here yeah? good you can see the composite right good now at this point there are different things we can do to toggle between the different um, rgb values the first thing is that you can directly come to the um, the scp plugin which we've actually activated you can see this is the let's say this should be the scp plugin right good so you just toggle between the different um, rgb values and then you would see the effect on what on your image right good so that's a um, three to one now there are different um, values for there are different value combinations right so when you want to get um, the natural color think um, you go with them um, four three two right good so this gives you the natural color so when you want to go with um okay let's try the agriculture which is what um six five two right good so that's um six five two that's um, one way you can toggle through the RGB values. You can, however, come to the layer of your, the stack layer that was created. Then you go to the properties, right? But before then, remember that we have what um, bands one, two, and three. Yeah, right. Good. So now we want to change now under the symbology and under um, band rendering. We want to change it from the default one to three towards let's say five six and then let's say four right good so now let's apply that and let's see effect put this off good so this is the effect you can also see the band uh, the band values have been what have been modified so the essence of this video is to show you how you can convert or let's say modify a grayscale image which you can see here or which you would have downloaded from any source to something that um, interprets or tries to give you meaning by combining the different word bands. Now upon performing maybe classification or some other um, form of analysis on the image you can actually identify some features better than you can identify others right good i know or you and i knows that this actually this um this blue values represents water body but we can't be so sure even though we know that it's actually water body because we can't actually identify some other features yeah so that's the essence of the classification which we are not doing on today's video so thanks for coming to class we hope we've um, actually provided a solution to this particular solving gis or let's say a um, remote sensing problem we've shown you how to download them these um, individual bands on the previous video and we've also shown you how you can convert these bands to or how you can combine yeah how you can combine these bands and also how to set or let's say yeah, how to set or select different RGB values either by using the SCP plugin or by going directly to the um, the layer of what the of the stack the raster right good so thanks for coming to class we hope we are going to see you on the next video if you have any challenge like this you can always um, reach out to us and we'll get back to you as soon as possible so until we see you on the next video ensure you keep being a good jazz enthusiast or expert or analyst and have a very good time bye